Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin lecturing Computing at the National College of Ireland and today we're going to learn how to create a Pareto chart using Microsoft Excel. A Pareto chart, as you know, uh, is represents the Pareto principle, uh, normally that 20% of sources cause 80% of any problem. So we want to look through these data here, uh, which have been taken from the Memory Jogger, a pocket guide of tools for continuous improvement and effect uh, planning. Uh, the Pareto is on page 95. And we want to look at the case of a fictitious uh, helpline company called Hot Rep. Uh, we want to know why people are calling the Hot Rep helpline and what are the main problems that people are having. So we have a lot of data to sort through here. The first thing is you know that we need to do with a Pareto analysis is to rank order our data based on percentage. So that's what I'm going to do first here. So I'm going to select percent and all the um, data in the uh, column here underneath percent. And I'm going to choose um, data from the pull down menu, um, sort, mm -hmm. and allow Excel to expand the selection so as it takes in the other two uh, columns as well, so as it will sort those. We want it to sort, sort on descending order and here I'm going to click OK. And in the background you can see now that uh, Excel has rank ordered from the highest down to the lowest uh, percentage of problems that I'm having. So I'm halfway towards the data I need to draw my Pareto chart. Now we want to know the cumulative percentage because that's the value we're going to put on the chart itself. So in this column here I'm going to add in a label for cumulative percent. And what I want to do is um, um, just put in here, uh, hopefully down at the end, add up to 100. So the first cell here, it's going to be exactly the same as what's in the cell in C3. So I'm just going to do equals C3 here, press return, and we can see that that's cumulative there for the first one is 33. In the next cell now, um, the cumulative percent is going to be this cell here, D3, plus the contents of this cell here, C4. So I'll just in my formula there, just do equals D3 plus C4, press return. You can see now my cumulative percent has gone up to 45 and I'm going to use Excel's expand tool here to copy that formula down to the rest of the cells and we can see that uh, in the end it totals up to 100% as we would expect. We're now ready to draw our Pareto chart. What we want in our Pareto chart, on the left hand side we want to have the frequency uh, across the bottom of our chart we want to have the problem categories and along the right hand side we want to know what the cumulative percentage is. So we need to select these three columns. So I'm doing that now with my mouse and the control key. The column I'm not selecting is the percent column here in the centre. The next thing to do now is to press the chart wizard. So the chart button up here will, will work great for that. So I'll select that. And the type of chart that you choose here is very important. Select the Custom Types tab here and scroll down to the option that allows you to select line dash column on two axes. And already you can see in the right hand side a Pareto like chart diagram appearing. Select Next. Um, we have our data range selected already here, so we have no need to make a change in this, so we're going to select Next again. And we've got some detail here in my chart title. I'm going to call this my Hot Rep chart. Um, on the um, y-axis here I'm going to push um, the frequency and on the second y-axis I'm going to put percent. Click next to move on to the next part of the wizard. Um, I'm going to leave this as an object in the current sheet and select finish. So this is my chart here and we just expand this as we can see the detail that are in it. Um, move it just a little bit wider. So we can see here that our chart features um, all the details that we would expect, expect in a Pareto chart. One thing I'm going to change here is on the secondary value axis I'm going to format this so that the maximum value is 100 as we don't get higher than 100% so change that from 120 to 100. Click OK and we can see here now we go from 0 to 100 and we've got a standard Pareto chart mm -hmm. Um, with, with our details here. We can see the cutoff point, whether we're choosing 80, 20 or 70-30, um, that the first four to five um, issues here, categories here, will tell us uh, that these are the most important problems and that the rest over here on the right hand side are the trivial few problems according to these data. So that's how you draw a Pareto chart in Excel. Um, thank you for your attention and I hope you found this quite useful.